Alright, so um, I just wanted to respond to this real quick. Okay, so as for liking ICP, just because you said that you believe you do have to like ICP, uh, I'd suggest you watch my videos, um, my debate with Child's Play Ninja, I don't know if you followed that, but we had a very interesting debate with each other, and I think that it's worth, uh, it's about, I don't know how many videos are in it, like is it six or seven, but we had a debate on that, we even ended up having a debate on the phone at one point, so it, it was pretty, um, like, yeah, we had a lot of discussion on whether or not you have to, um, like ICP to be a juggalo. But let me get into, like, the spiritual stuff. Because, like, I, again, I, I've heard the unveiling, I've heard the Joker cards, I kind of get the meaning behind each one. And I actually have a defense for that. First of all, yes, I do believe that I'm going to continue to, um, not believe in God. That is, until I see some, uh, evidence for him. You know, I'm not going to believe in God just so Juggalos will accept me. That's not the way I work, you know? And I'm, I'm sure that's not what you implied. But I'm not going to believe in God just because people want me to. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me, you know? Religion and spirituality, even, is a very personal thing. You know, I really don't think anyone has the right to tell me, you need to believe this, you should think this way. Just like I don't have the right to tell somebody, you need to think this. I have a right, to, you know, I, I come on here and I debate this stuff. But I will never tell anybody, you need to believe this specific idea, you know? Like, that's someone else's individual and personal beliefs. It's on what they've found in life. You know, I'm not one of those atheists that goes around and calls people idiots for believing in God. That's just not productive. Because I think some people have experienced some reasoning for believing in God's existence. And, um, you know, I hope to talk to those people. I hope to grow in my understanding. Uh, whether it be spiritually, whether it be... But I just don't see any proof for God. I don't see any proof for anything, you know, outside what I've seen. Now, I do see proof, though, that there's probably something we don't understand, and that's reality, you know? There's... We don't know everything. And that's all I'm saying is we don't know ev everything at all. How much do we really know? And I think that a lot of times there are unexplained circumstances, and that's just the things we don't know. That's just the things we don't, as of yet, understand, and possibly will never understand them as humans. So, as for how it relates to the Dark Carnival, I think the Dark Carnival, to me, is more of a moral message than a religious message. Now, when they say the Carnival is God, I think that that could mean something completely different to a different person. You know, the Christian will think, yeah, Christian God. That's what he means. Uh, you know, the, um, you know, the, the Muslim or the Jew will say, okay, that's, you know, that would be Allah, that would be Yahweh. And I think that, you know, they could mean, you know, they're all the same person. I get that. Yahweh, um, God, uh, Allah, they're the same God. There's really no difference. You know, it's the same God. But I think the one God is what a lot of the monotheists will say. Um, as for the Satanists, I really don't know how they defend that. I think what they mean is like, I think what a lot of people who are either Satanist or whether they're like me, an atheist, or maybe agnostic. And some people really just believe in the dark carnival. You know, they kind of believe in the dark carnival in one way or another. And whether they believe in God, I really don't know because I have a friend who is atheist she doesn't really believe in god but she actually believes in the dark carnival and sort of like that that stuff happens after death but to me the dark carnival is this life the dark carnival is sort of like a moral code in a way like you're talking about how juggaloism is also about morality of course because you have to respect other people you know what i mean like and accepting comes along with respecting other people if you're molesting a child are you respecting that child not. Nah, I don't think you are. No, you are not respecting that child. You don't just have to respect juggalos. You have to respect people in general, unless they pretty much fuck you over. And then I could see how someone wouldn't respect them. But basically, you have to respect other people. You have to, again, have that moral foundation. And for me, the Dark Carnival more tells you that than anything religious. The Dark Carnival, to me, is a moral message. And, um, again, have you ever heard of pantheism? It's sort of like the idea that the universe is God. That everything around us is God. Everything majestic. Everything good. That's God. And that's the way I see it. That's the way I see the ICP saying the carnival is God. The carnival is everything. The carnival is this universe. It's a depiction of this universe. The carnival shows us 
reality in a way that's mythological. It's sort of like when you, when you, let's say when you watch Harry Potter, for example, it shows us a reality in the discrimination between the pure bloods, the mud bloods, the half bloods. They talking about the pure bloods are superior, and you know they got the Death Eaters, which is essentially like the Nazis or the KKK, and then you got um, the, you know the half bloods are sort of like the mixed race people. And the mudbloods and the muggles, they're like the inferior, like the, the blacks. It's, it's, it's sort of like a, like a depiction of racism. It, it displays how, what's wrong with racism. It displays it in a way that doesn't directly display it. In the same way, the Dark Carnival displays reality in a way that is not real. In a way that is real, yet not real at the same time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so God could just mean the the carnival is this universe. The carnival is everything we are. The carnival is the reality. The carnival is the people on the streets. The carnival is, you know, what happens to people. It's sort of like a and, and Shaggy believes in karma and I think that more than anything the carnival is like talking about karma and I think there's some truth to karma. Some truth to karma. And basically it's a depiction of, 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 yeah, just their thoughts on reality more than anything religious. And I guess you could, that sort of depiction of reality, that sort of vague description of reality and um, the messed up things about reality kind of mixed in with sort of like an alternative reality, sort of a ideal reality kind of into the dark carnival idea is where people kind of get the vagueness between just a moral message and a spiritual message. But I think more than anything, it's a lifestyle message, you know, that not to go out and kill people, but that we show respect to each other within the carnival, and that's all people. You know, we won't let the, the richies be superior to us. Anybody who has more money, any juggalo who has more money, any juggalo who has less money, no one is better than the other one, and everyone needs to help each other out. You know, if I see somebody who needs help, I shouldn't see somebody who's a poor person, someone who's inferior to me. I should see somebody who's in need of some help and maybe give them a helping hand, you know what I mean? I think that that's more than anything sort of the message of the dark carnival rather than anything religious. And to some people it sort of mixes in with their religious beliefs, you know? Some people it sort of has to do with their religious beliefs, but again, it's separate. It really is. And I know the people on Psychopathic are at least kind of religious, at least kind of, at least they're spiritual, you know? And, um, so yeah, I think that they're at least spiritual. And I think it sort of depicts something, that they're sort of spiritual, and, um, they're sort of showing off some spirituality, but I don't think that it has to do with religion as much as just sort of like an understanding of this earth, of this world, of an ideal society, of the messed up things about society, and, you know, all that jazz. So, I don't know, that's just my argument to those who say that I can't be an atheist juggalo who are ha or who have a problem with me being an atheist juggalo because God can be used in many other senses and um, God and the Dark Carnival doesn't necessarily have any religious context. It could, but not necessarily. So, peace out. Much clown love. Woop woop.